My Hero Academia, also known as Boku no Hero Academia Chapter 328, has officially been released and it leaves us on a nice little cliffhanger. But you know, this is a common theme, obviously. You always want to leave people wanting more. And at the very end of this, it actually introduces us to the United States of America's number one hero, Stars and Stripes. And this person, this lady, she says, my master's in trouble. We can't waste a moment's worth of time. So she is in a rush. It looks like she's riding on top of some nice little stealth units. And some other things that we found out from this chapter is that all for one has the ability to essentially transfer some of his consciousness, his thoughts across over to Shigaraki. And that's how he was able to get out of Tartarus. In addition to that, we also learned that Stain had actually been able to escape. And there was one individual person, just some random soldier that he met up with that was able to hand him off this documentation. And this documentation was the recordings of All for One and these radio waves that suggest that how much time he's going to have to need in order to be able to come whole again. And the problem with this is that time has already been going by up to this point. So now there's only three days left. So when is the next chapter of My Hero Academia expected to be released? In Japan, it's expected on October 11th at 1 a.m. India at 9.30 p.m. October 10th. For the United States and Canada at 10 a.m. October 10th. United Kingdom, that'd be 4 p.m. October 10th. And for Europe, that'd be 5 p.m. October 10th. In addition to that, what else are we seeing from the community thoughts? Well, not too many people are actually talking about it yet, so I'll give you my own theories on this, and I would love for you all to share in the comments down below what you think about it as well. So according to this article, one of the things that they highlight is the new arrivals. Several countries are on their way to send reinforcement to Japan because of All Might's call. We confirm that America's number one hero, Stars and Stripes, will be joining them shortly. Furthermore, she calls All Might Master, which means that they have a bigger connection. We will also see some new faces in the form of Salam, I think is how you say the name, and Big Red Dot in the country pretty soon. Heroes from UA won't be alone in this war. They will be joined by some incredible heroes from all across the globe. So I think the fact that we're going to see all these different individuals showing up from across the globe will be really cool. But the question is, how long is it going to take for them to show up? And I kind of got the vibe. I don't know about you guys, but I get this vibe that she's going to show up. She's going to help lead the fight. All the people in Japan, the heroes there, they're going to be doing the best that they can with their fight as well. And that includes Deku, right? And then when everything looks really bleak, I picture that sort of Avengers moment where all of a sudden there comes all the reinforcements and they rush in and it's a huge level of support and it's a big, massive, epic battle and then a massive showdown potentially between Deku holding the all, uh, sorry, the one for all versus all for one and the ultimate showdown. Will it be the final battle or... Will there be more that comes out of this? There's another escape. There's another opportunity. What are we going to see play out with that? How is Stain actually going to play a role with this moving forward? Will he go out onto the battlefield and fight against the heroes? Will he just stand by and watch what's happening? Or will he help fight, fight alongside the heroes in some sort of weird revelation? It's a lot of good questions. So I have a feeling that... What's mainly going to be happening in the next chapter will be the updating of the time frame for the students at UA. And it's a little bit of a shock for them that they have virtually no time left. And their final preparations. So there's a couple ways we could look at this. It could be that they use their time to just make sure that they're fully okay. You know, they don't go out and practice, for example, because they could hurt themselves or tire themselves out and they want to be at 100%, right? They've only got three days to do this recovery. And we know that Deku has just shown up and he's pretty darn exhausted. So how much more he can actually be able to test, I don't really know. You know, it doesn't seem like he has that much of an opportunity. Now, what would be cool is a little sort of side twist is, is if they introduce some sort of a mechanic, kind of like a hyperbolic time chamber, in which the students had an ability through... Um, dimensional time to be able to actually go out and practice and and get themselves up to a higher standard before this all takes place and then you could actually have an entire side arc i think 
where it's almost like a One Punch Man, where you have all the side characters are off doing their thing, and then you kind of veer over to see what the main hero, Saitama, is doing. In this instance, you could veer over into the uh, time space where Deku is doing his stuff for his training and all the furthering of that. But how much more could he really push forward in regards to just everything in general? He's already talking with all the former heroes, the holders of One for All, and he's just getting to the point where he's really mastering this stuff. So I I don't know. I kind of get the vibe. It's going to be just a little bit more story-driven for the next chapter, potentially a couple chapters before some actual action takes place. But stuff loves to throw curves curveballs at us, so... We'll have to officially wait and see what's going on there. And then maybe we'll find out some new details in the next chapter in regards to what role Stars and Stripes has as far as being um, calling All Might her master. So it sounds like she had trained underneath him. I don't know if she has any kind of role or attachments back to All for One or One for All or any kind of history in that regard. But she looks like she's in good spirits. It looks like she's in good health. And she's got a similar pattern style like that of All Might. And her coming from the United States is very much that of like a United States look. So let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Very curious to see what you guys have to say. And also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Feel free to share this video. And I will see you guys in the next episode.